Yeah, since winning the um, Swift Academy from December and now I'm here in Benny Kassim uh, with the team. This is my second training camp with them and yeah, it's been going really well so far, having lots of fun and, um, and like meeting everyone and I feel like there's lots of support at the moment with the team and everyone's getting really around me and it's, um, everyone's been easy to talk to and, and fitting in really well. It's been lots of, yeah, lots of fun around here. So during the training camp, I've had a bit of an injury. So this is a part of professional cycling and um, the team's been really supportive with it. We, we've been working through it. Every day I've been seeing a physio twice a day and um, you know, working on a rehab program and then also treating it after, in the afternoons. And it is, uh, you know, I've had so much support from the team, like the doctors and then the professional physios and the, the performance team have all been um, really supportive behind it. And, and we've created a very clear plan that I just need to follow. So I actually got two um, options with the, with the, from the um, manager of Alpers and Phoenix. Um, the, the first option was to be a professional rider for, uh, one year on the professional team. And then the second option was to be a professional rider on the development team for two years. Um, so I, I took the development option because that's over two years. So I've got lots of development to go and um, being in a, on the development team, you know, you get the same equipment and, and resources and you, you've actually got more races available because you're, you can do more UCI races and um, more, you know, one, you know, level one and level two, and then you can go up to the um, to the world tour. It gives me a bit of time to um, develop and find my feet here in Europe, and yeah, to see how I go in these in these races, and um, it will give me yeah more time to to learn how to how to race here and um, develop as a professional rider. Yeah, and, and I think um, it really. Having those two options there were just, was actually really amazing and comforting that the team have actually got my best interests at heart too and um, see a more of a long-term plan with, with me, which is uh, pretty amazing and really special, I think. So yeah, it's really nice. You know, at the end of that, I'm expected to be given a pro contract if um, I meet all those requirements and, and hit all those goals and, um, and, and become a successful rider. And, but you know, if, if I develop faster than that, there's always an option of just moving me up straight away. So. Um, you know, it can, it always changes and it really depends on lots of different things, but you know, there's always that um, option in the background where if I just, just <laughs> somehow just absolutely come over here and smash it, you know, I can just go straight into the, into the um, pro team, which is um, pretty amazing. Yeah, well, my first um, kind of goals for me to follow and, and try and achieve is just to basically learn, learn the racing over here in Europe and develop and, um, and learn to be in a professional team and, and start to learn how to be a professional rider and then um, yeah, learn all that race craft and, 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 and get all that help from the team and then maybe at the end of the year I can nip a few results from um, for in the kind of continental level hopefully and then um, yeah, you know, there's obviously a long term plan with me which is, which is quite encouraging I think. Um, hopefully maybe fit into the role of, of being one of Jay's um, support roles which will be amazing, um, you know, and then I've got two years to kind of work into that role and, and yeah, which is absolutely amazing. So that'll be, that's basically the way I'm trying to head at the moment.